are we in Stranger Things? Are we in the Upside Down? It's John C. Boy. What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> it's your boy, John T. Welcome back to the channel. I am back with a new video. I hope you guys had a great week. It is Friday, baby. It's, gotta get ready for the weekend. Uh, for this video, I got something new for you guys that just been released by Baby Audio. But before we get into that, I'd like to say thank you to those who has recently subscribed. Thank you so much. You have no idea, and I really appreciate you guys supporting me. For those who are new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified on new videos once I upload them. I got so many videos in the works, you guys won't believe. And also, give this video a thumbs up. You know how much I really appreciate you. And you know I got a shout out for the Funko Pop of the day, which is, BAM! Shirley Bennett from the TV show Community. I didn't watch it that much, my father has. And I, there were times that I used to watch it. A couple of scenes where I saw Shirley, she's a, she's a devoted Christian. She speaks her mind on whatever she believes in strongly. And she has a bit of a mouth. She likes to gossip. So the reason why I chose her is that when you being devoted to something that you believe in, something that you feel so strongly about, stick to it. Especially if, it, if it's music or anything of that nature, your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, stick to it. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about a new VST that's just been released by Baby Audio. It's called BA1. Now, Baby Audio stated that this is a reimagination of the Yamaha CS01. It's a nice mono synth. Um, it looks very simple to use, but the, but the sounds on this bad boy is amazing. It's very easy to program, surprisingly versatile. It has over 500 high quality sounds and a VG function, which is a randomization feature that will generate new patches for you. It has four different colors. We're going to upload this bad boy machine and we're going to see exactly what it has to offer. So let's check it out. Okay guys, and voila, here it is. BA1, AKA Baby Audio 1. And it looks exactly like the Yamaha CS01. Of course, on the bottom left hand corner, I think instead of one speaker, I think it had like two speakers. I don't recall. It's been a while since I've seen it. I thought it was like a little toy piano, but uh, that's what people thought at first because it looks like a toy, but it had amazing sounds to it. And this is what it reminds me of. It looks exactly like the Yamaha CS01. So let's get into this. First off, we're gonna start with the four color options. We have gray, blue, purple, and orange. Why would I pick purple, hmm? Wakanda forever! Right. Purple, okay. Okay, and when you put your cursor on the baby audio, it's the bypass button. This is low preset. So many presets, over 500. We have brass plus strings, bass, pads, leads, plucks. Oh, okay, we have some preset packs. Ah, Venus Theory is on here. Exploration pack, shout outs to him. You guys go uh, subscribe to his channel. This guy has some nice videos. Um, Before we check out the presets, let's, let's go further. You could save presets, CC, which is MIDI CC control change? Control change, okay. This is most likely a MIDI routing. You could assign your knobs and sliders to any feature on here and have control from your uh, MIDI controller. Okay, velocity, polyphonic, monophonic, okay. This is your reset button. And this is the speaker, turn that on and off. Your battery, output, and your regen. So. Let's see, we're gonna choose some sounds. We wanna check out some sounds. Okay. Okay, cello tron. Check out the bass. 808 Fever. Big boy boxster. That scared the crap out of me. 
Okay, um, Reese. Lou De Leon, okay. The past. Let's go to the top. A space symphony. Add some depth pad. Leaves. Acid lasers. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with that one. Okay, the Gliss, Glissado, Glissado, my saying it wrong, Glissando. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we have your isolators. Um, you change the pitch. Put it, put it back to where it was. You change the octaves. I don't think you can move this at all unless you change this to the bottom. This is the waveforms. PWM. Gonna keep it where it was. I'll leave it right there. This is the X feed. This is the second oscillator. Same as the first. FM you have your filters you have your envelopes uh, your ADSR see it's very simple very simple to use I love plugins that have a lot of simplicity to their features because if it's if you see a plugin that has a whole bunch of windows, a whole bunch of knobs and and sliders, and it doesn't really give you much information on what these features actually do, you know, it might it might make the user intimidated. It, you might feel threatened to the point where you might not even know how to use it, or might not even use it at all. So that's what I like about these type of plugins, like Baby Audio, Native Instruments, uh, Ataris. Those type of companies they make things simple for us creators. Okay. FLO. And as for speaker, for those who are not familiar with this one, who might not even be aware of what this actually is, once I play it and I and I switch it from um on and off, it just switches to a, a speaker output. It makes it sound like you know you listen to them from out of the speaker. And I think that they even mentioned in a, in a manual that the hardware's version of the speaker, it gave it like a little quirky lo-fi sound. If you think about it, it sounds almost exactly what the hardware used to do. So it's like an A and B reference when it comes to the sound that you're creating on your own and the speaker that gives, that gives it a different sound. And as for sidechain, it said that this could work in an external or internal mode. It's on pre for the routing. And there's your post. Okay. You can change the tone to dark to, or bright. And the drive. That's a lot. Is your circuit drive and your circuit OD overdrive? And I'm gonna turn down the delay a little bit. And this is the length. Did you hear that? Let's turn it all the way up. Oh, DJ. 
jam. <laughs> I'm just being a little corny right now. <laughs> okay, but um, you can turn it off if you like. I might just leave it off a little bit. This is a reverb. Wow, they have it at 10 for this preset. That's why it sounds way too dry when you do that. So I'm put it back to 10. This is your chorus. I'll leave that on. That sounds nice. Yeah, and, and for this right here, they basically want this to be exactly like the real experience. Because the battery on the old version, like the CSO one, the batteries didn't last long on the uh, the synth. So basically here, you know, they want you to have the real experience close to it. So if you put at a hundred and it goes down to 50%. Whenever the battery power goes low, the horrible, the, your, your presets will sound. So check it out. See? And they basically want this to be the real deal here. And this is your output. And this is your regen. This is most likely a regenerator that's going to create new patches for you. So let's check it out. Are we in Stranger Things? Are we in the Upside Down? Let's check out another one. That's amazing. Dang, I gotta save that as a preset or something because that sounded nice. The plunk is it's not bad. You know, it might not look like it has a lot to offer, but trust me, it does. You know, it has an introductory offer of 49 bucks. And if you download a demo, they'll give you an additional 15% off. I appreciate you guys use my affiliate link down in the description below. It'll help support the channel. I really appreciate you. Let me know in the, in the comment section below what you guys think of this plugin. Let me know. Once again, it's your boy, John T. I'm signing off. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed. Oh, yeah. Peace out.